Boys and girls, I'm going to read one more story. Come sit down. Hey, get that out of your mouth. That's gross. Don't hit her, please. Hey guys, that was really fun. So I'm gonna do one more. Um, I just wanted to say hi to all my friends that were trying to message me while I was reading the book and I couldn't talk to you at the time. Hope you guys are having a good time off. So when we're getting ready for our story, we have to go through our four steps. And those steps are voice is quiet, body calm, eyes watching, and ears listening. The last thing before I get started with my story is turn to your friend next to you, give them a high five. Whether it's your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, your friend, your grandma, or grandpa, just give them a high five. But you have a question? Why is my name backwards on the board? Well, that's because you guys are looking through a video camera, and on there, it turns it around. That's why my name is backwards on the board. Today, for my last story of the day, I couldn't wait to read this story, so I'm just gonna do it today. It's called Holler Loudly. It is by Cynthia Ledich Smith, and it's illustrated by Barry Gott. This is my favorite book because there's so many voices to do, and it's just a lot of fun. It's a really fun book. If you don't have this book, you should get it at home. You should ask your mom or your dad or whoever if they could get this book for you. Maybe you could come to my classroom and you could read it with me if you want sometime. But for right now, I'm just gonna read it for you, okay? Holler loudly. Oh, you wanna see it? Mama and dad lead loudly, named their baby Holler because he cried loud. So loud that the pecans fell from the pecan trees and the prickly pear cacti sprouted more needles. So loud that every hound dog in the county rolled up his ears and tossed back his head to the bay. So loud that the armadillos woke up from their naps and the turkey vultures dropped their feathers. Hush, folks would yell. Hush. Can everybody say hush? You try it. Hush. Good job. Mama and Daddy loved their son. They tried everything to get Holler to speak more softly. When he was a baby, they said, hush, nicely. When he was a toddler, they said, hush, sternly. Then finally, when he was old enough to go to school, they found themselves shouting, hush. But it was no use. Every generation's a holler loudly baby was just born loud, and holler had been a lucky one. Holler loved school, he loved art and music, he loved reading and writing, he loved facts and figures, but every time he exclaimed, yippee tie ye yo, I love math, his words came out too loud. So loud that Mr. Smarty's chalks burst into dust and the students ducked for cover. Minnie Bell said, hush. Nobody cares. Jimmy Joe said, hush. You're annoying. And Mr. Smarty said, hush. No recess for you. Holler didn't like missing recess. How he wished folks didn't mind his voice. I think he's sad. Can you make a sad face? Holler loved to go to the big old theater. He loved to stand in line for tickets. He loved to sit in the velvet seats. And he loved to see the show. But every time he exclaimed, Yee-haw, I love the movies. His words came out too loud. So loud that it rattled the chandelier and flattened Miss Poofy's hairdo. The ticket seller called, Hush, I'm trying to count change. The lovebirds called, Hush, here come the previews. And the usher called, Hush. You've got to go. Holler didn't like having to leave the movie theater. How he wished folks didn't mind his voice. Holler loved fishing with his gramps and Gus. Gus is a cat. He loved baiting his hook with tamales. He loved floating in Gramps' big boat. And he loved 
catch the catfish. But every time he exclaimed, Yahoo, let's land a big one. His words came out too loud, so loud, that the boat tip sending them soaring curse splash into the lake. The catfish yelled, hush, we're out of here. Gus yowled, hush, there goes my dinner. And Gramps yelled, hush, no more fishing today. Holler didn't like being all wet, how he wished Gramps and cats and catfish didn't mind his voice. And he's sad again. Make your sad face one more time. A holler was feeling blue, so Mama and Daddy took him to the state fair. He loved cotton candy, he loved the Ferris wheel, and he loved prize winning livestock. But when he called Sue, holler was loud that the hogs broke free, then the cattle stampeded, and the whole fair shut down. What's your question? Yeah, go to the bathroom, just wash your hands really quick, okay? Mama's patience had run out, Daddy's devotion had worn thin, but Gramps' barbershop quartet was singing in the town square, so they went to hear it. Holler loved Gramps, he loves Gramps, Cut, and Gus, and he loved their barbershop quartet. Howdy! Looks like rain! Holler yelled over the singing. Hush, Daddy scolded, you're a distraction. Hush, Mama scolded, nobody can hear the music. Hush! The whole town scolded. Even this baby over here is saying that's enough. <sighs> what is Holler going to do? So finally, Holler hushed and the quartet crooned on. It didn't seem fair though. Nobody was telling Mr. Smarty to stop thinking or Miss Poofy to take down her hair or Gus to give up fishing or Gramps to forget his songs. Did folks want Holler to hush forever? Being loud was part of who he was. Would they appreciate his company, voice and all? Holler took comfort listening to the quartet. He loves songs about cowboys, and he loves songs about the best girls. He loves songs about love and little doggies. And Holler realized something. When he was quiet, he could listen better. Quiet times could be just fine. Just then... Holler looked in the sky. A tornado? It could flatten the whole town. Right then, Holler knew in his heart of hearts, sure there were times to be quiet, but there were also times to be loud. Alrighty! He bellowed so loud that the land rolled and rumbled, ripped and shimmied and shook. So loud that ten gallon hats soared into the sky. So loud that Mama and Daddy, Gramps and Gus, men and women, boys and girls sailed, whoosh, plum off their boot heels. Whew. Go away! Holler shouted at the tornado, which blew a raspberry at him. Do you know what a raspberry is? Turn to the person next to you and blow a raspberry. It's like this. <laughs> I mean it, he threatened on his way to the gazebo. Bah ha ha, laughed the twister. Listen up, you big bag of wind. This here is my town, and you best ski daddle. Do you think that scared the tornado? Let's find out. And Holler was so loud. So loud, so absolutely, positively, knee-shaking, earthquaking loud that the tornado blew into a thousand sweet, teeny, breezy breezes, not one, with an ounce of sass. It was official. Not only was Holler the loudest boy in history, he was also a hero. yippee tie yee yo everyone hollered. Yee-haw! Yahoo, yahoo, yahoo! sang the barbershop quartet and mama and daddy sighed all righty in the future gramps declared when you're loud nobody's gonna mind so they all joined hands cheered and danced till the cows came home from that moment on holler was quiet at quiet times and loud at loud times the townsfolks were so delighted, they put his name on a very important sign. 
Take a guess what that sign is. Do you think it's a stop sign? Probably not. Do you think it's a speed limit sign? Let me look. They put his name, it says right here, the Holler Loudly Public Library. Please hush. And here's a statue of Holler Loudly, it says our hero. That was Holler Loudly. Again, it was written by Cynthia Ledditch Smith, illustrated by Barry Gott. I hope you like this story. It is my favorite book to read because it's so fun. If you like this book, go check it out. Um, I highly suggest it. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to do this again at 6 o'clock. Uh, I will share the video just in case you missed this one. I did do one earlier with Pete the Cat and Rock, Rock and His School Shoes, so check that one out too. I love you all. Sleep good and don't be naughty.